Friedrich Dewar has seven brothers and no history of prostate cancer. It wasn't until he noticed urinary symptoms that he decided to visit his family doctor. My family doctor, oh, what, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I said, I don't know what it is, you tell me. The it was prostate cancer, and after carefully considering his options, Dewar opted for radiation therapy at Sunnybrook. Radiation works on the principle of energy, damaging the DNA of cancer cells. Dewar's treatment was done daily for eight weeks to let healthy cells recover while hopefully killing all the cancerous ones. It's a good, relatively non-invasive way to be treated. Um, it uh, is time-consuming, um, but, but in general, short amount of time each day. Other radiation approaches include brachytherapy, where radioactive seeds are permanently implanted into the prostate, emitting a low amount of radiation over time, and high-dose rate brachytherapy, a one-time treatment where the prostate is exposed to a high level of radiation. Dr. Vesprini says deciding on an overall course of treatment depends on the aggressiveness of disease, the patient's age, and their overall health. Radiation has changed dramatically uh, over the last five to ten years. It's because it's a te technology-driven field. Uh, machines get fancier, we get more precise, and the more precise we can get, the uh, less side effects we can impart upon men and the higher chance we have of cure, because we know that the more dose we give, the higher the chance we cure men. The first day I came here, I was worried. But because everybody is so nice, no more problem. I know they're looking after me. For more information, visit the Sunnybrook website. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.